Hey, you holy souls! Wow, it's so good that you're here. I'm so glad that you are here, and I'm so thankful that you paid attention to even listen to me speak for a moment. Like, the fact that you would listen to what I would have to say is absolutely fantastic. And thank the Creator that I have something, I have a platform, like I can, you know, turn on this little device and I can speak and it records me and I get to speak to you. Um, another really neat thing is that I can see myself, right? You can see yourself in the device, so you can you can check and make sure your hat's on straight and whatever. Thank God <laughs> you're not looking too crazy uh, when you're recording a video. It's fantastic to have a little mirror there. Who would have thought? It's uh, I don't know that Star Trek took it far enough, right? This is so like amazing that we can connect, and I'm so thankful to the Creator that we can connect. It's important that we are thankful. It's very important that we're thankful. If you're praying from like the, the Siddur, you're going to have opportunities in the Siddur that are like, you know, we thank you, we, we tell of your praises, we tell the works of your hands, we thank you for, your, for what you've given to us and our souls and our bodies. And those prayers are so deep and so amazing because they contain gratitude. Why is gratitude so important? Well, let's say I borrow a cup of sugar from my neighbor because I want to finish off the recipe. Should I say thanks? <laughs> Absolutely. I go over to my neighbor's house and I borrow a tool to fix the truck or whatever, borrow the lawnmower, something like that. You got to say thank you. It's polite. You know, in fact, it's our obligation to say thank you. It's our obligation to say thank you to the Creator because. Let's say I went over to my neighbor's house and I took the lawnmower and I used it and I put it back, right? But I never asked him about it. I never asked him for it and I never said thanks. <laughs> well, it's not mine to use without asking. And it's definitely not mine to use without giving some gratitude for it, for it. maybe even giving some sort of payment that I was able to borrow the lawnmower. Yeah? You with me? So, likewise, how could we go about using the Creator's stuff to our benefit without giving thanks? And God owns everything. <laughs> he owns everything. Like, I have to say thank you. Like, I'm sitting in a school right now, right? I'm sitting in a school, and I'm sitting on a floor. It's got a beautiful concrete. It's like a polished concrete floor. It's actually very pretty. But I have a spot where to sit. Looking in. Hey, yeah. Isn't it awesome? Thank God. So I have a spot to sit. It's warm in here. Like, I'm not outside in the open. I'm not, uh, you know, in, I'm not cold. I have a wall that I can lean up against. You know, it's beautiful. I have a, somebody walked by, a random person walked by, and they even said, wow, you, that's awesome. You have a place to sit down, you know? So all of those things are there for, from the creator, the, the concrete floor, the wall. Um, the sweater that helps to keep me warm, glasses so that I can, you know, that I can read. Reb Nachman used to thank God when he would sit down to eat. He would thank God for each individual thing that was on his plate. Isn't that interesting? So he would say, like, thank you for the cucumber, thank you for the carrot, thank you for the cheese. He would say, like, a separate thanks for each thing that's on the plate. And a lot of times I think we get caught up in saying a general thanks and don't get me wrong say a general thanks absolutely but think about the individual divine providence that allows you to have each and every little thing that you utilize every day my knees work I'm able to walk isn't it fantastic <laughs> like I have shoes on my feet if you've ever been outside in the cold and you get your feet wet and your socks get wet you realize how grateful you can be for a pair of dry socks. I've asked people that were on the streets before, like you really sit down and talk to them, and you find out what, you know, what's one thing that you really like, you desire, you kind of need to get by. And somebody told me, they're like, you know what, I need, I need socks. <laughs> because my socks get dirty, they get nasty, they get wet, whatever, I just need some socks. And so uh, there you go. How appreciative we can be for a pair of dry socks. So you've always got something. Every step of the way in your life, you've always got something that you can be thankful for. So develop that attitude of gratitude. 
And I do believe that whenever you start to say thanks, you'll begin to see more miracles in your life. Think about this. If I bought my child a bicycle, okay, and I brought the bicycle home, and I was really excited to give my child the bicycle. And let's say, God forbid, the child is unhappy with it. The child says, Dad, I hate that bicycle. It's the ugliest bicycle I've ever seen in my life. I don't have anything to do with that bicycle. I'm never going to ride it. <laughs> wow. Like, how does that make me feel as a parent? God forbid. I mean, that makes me feel horrible that they would do something like that, right? Would I be inclined to go buy them anything else? Would I be inclined to bring gifts to them? Look, your Heavenly Father desires to give you good gifts. So, say thank you. Because what happens when that same child with that same bike says, Whoa, I can't believe it, Dad. You got me a bike, man. Let's go ride. This is going to be awesome. Come on, can we go? Let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait to show everybody. Man, now, what do I want to do? <laughs> I want to buy that kid the best bike in the pl on the planet, right? It's like I want to give that kid everything. Because they were so full of gratitude and joy and their face being full of joy gives my face a bunch of joy, right? So give your creator joy by giving him a big old smile and tell him thank you.